Hello, this is Mr. Drain. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to access the online version of your Envision Math textbook. We're actually going to get started on the BASD launchpad, which can be found at the address shown above. I would suggest bookmarking it. Um, from there, we're going to click on the blue Pearson app or link, and that's going to ask for our students' username and password. And once they log in with their username and password successfully, they're going to be brought to this page. They're going to go to the right side and click on the Pearson Realize button, and that will take them to the Pearson Realize site, which is broken up into three main sections, programs, classes, and grades. In the program section, here is where our students are given page-by-page -page digital access to their math textbook in a digital interactive format. So just to um, give you an example, we'll go to a lesson in one of the uh, topics in the fifth grade book. If I click on eText, this is going to give us that page-by-page -page digital version of the book with some interactive tools which we'll take a look at here. So once this loads up you will see this looks exactly like the textbook okay and what we can do is we can put it to a double screen um, format we can use certain tools like a highlighter which we can click and highlight certain things and it will save it for the next time um, that we visit okay um, we can add notes all different types of things to make it interactive and uh, to get more out of our textbook this is great for if we have a test and we maybe forgot our textbook in class this is something that we could access that from at home um, this is something that a family can gather around and take a look at what's going on in math class so it's a it's a great resource all right so let's go back to our three main sections of the Pearson Realize site, okay? Um, let's go to classes. In classes, here is where we're going to find assignments that teachers can give to our students, and it's broken up into three main categories, assignments that were um, not yet started by the student, assignments that are started but not completed, that's gonna be in the in progress, and then assignments that we completed are in the completed section. All right. So if we look at what what kind of assignments we might see in here, um, one that I um, really find valuable is called a practice buddy. All right. So I'll show you what this kind of looks like. This one I think was already started. No, this one wasn't started yet. So we can take a look at it. Now, um, basically what it is, is it's questions just like, very, very similar to out of the book, very, very similar to what's gonna be on the test. And um, what we can do is go ahead and click in certain answers. Now I'm gonna type in um, answers wrong on purpose, okay? And I'm not just gonna click next, I'm gonna go to check answer, okay? And it doesn't just say wrong, it gives us feedback as to what we need to do to try to lead us in the right direction to fix it. So this doesn't just say, sorry, that's not correct. It tells us that we need to subtract in each place value, moving left, right from left, regroup if necessary. And if we would try it again and get it wrong, it would give us a more detailed uh, feedback in terms of leading us in the right direction to help us uh, get it right. So that's the practice buddy. Um, other types of assignments that we might see. There are games okay and the games are organized by the topic that we are in so here's a game from I believe topic one which is place value and what this is is I have to make this target number okay over to the side and I look down at the bottom and each one of these are worth a different place value amount so as you can see I need now um, a certain number I need a one because at some point I need a one so uh, I'm looking for one I get it and it's all about place value and again 
this game is organized in with topic one because topic one is about place value. All right. So that is, there are games that we can be assigned in the classes section. Also, uh, let's look at there are videos, short little, usually around two minute videos that we can use as a refresher course to watch. Let's take a look, look at it. Hi, folks. I'm Joseph. And here's today's example problem. A Texas Longhorn Bull has horns that are approximately 2.77 meters long. What is 2.77 meters rounded to the nearest tenth? Again, as you can see, these are great little videos that we can pause and work on. If we're at home with our family, we can pause and work on it together, see who can get it done first. All different types of things that we can do to make it interactive. We have access at home. Um, it's a really great resource. All right. Um, the last section we're not really going to go into because it is uh, grades and personal for each student, but the grade section, all assignments that are finished, uh, students get a grade and then the students can access it and see how they did. Or uh, as a family, they can go on and, and see uh, their grades and how they're progressing in uh, each different assignment. All right. So there it is. That's how to access the Pearson Realize uh, envision math version of our textbook the online math version of our textbook um, that's how to access it um, some of the features um, so let us know in the comments down below uh, how are you finding uh, success with the online version of envision uh, did you find a feature that we didn't talk about but you found to be pretty cool let us know in the comments below have a question let us know uh, we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time